Hey, how's everybody doing today? So today I'm going to show you guys how you can hook up your Google Nexus 6P or pretty much any Google Nexus, how you can hook it up to your Chromecast. So basically you can cast and you can screen mirror. Okay. And the device that I'm going to be using is called Chromecast. Okay. Now there's a first generation which is this one here and is a second generation. Both of these work perfectly fine. The only thing is the second generation is a tad faster. You're probably not gonna see a difference unless you're actually comparing both of these, okay? Now this one here, the first generation is about $30. You can get the second generation for about $35. Basically it's a dongle, looks just like this and you hook it up on the back of your HDTV right into your HDMI port. Once you install that, Basically, you have to go to your Nexus phone. You have to download this Google Cast app right here. Go right into your Play Store and download this, okay? And then once you hook it up, now the big thing is to note is, you know, for, this, for the Google Chromecast to work, you have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. So your, your Chromecast as well as your Nexus phone needs to be on the same Wi-Fi network. If you have no Wi-Fi network, it is not going to work. You're not going to be able to connect or do anything. Okay, so let's do this now. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and cast some movies, YouTube, and stuff like that. And I'm also going to show you guys how you can screen mirror using Google Chromecast. So let's do this first. Let's um, let. Why don't we start off with some Netflix? Let's watch some Netflix. So here's some here's Netflix here. And I'm we're going to go ahead and watch this show right here, but. Once I pop up Netflix, you're going to get this casting icon right up here. Okay, so what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to tap on that, and then I'm going to look for my device, and mine is Chromecast Seven or Six Seven Eight Six, which is right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let me focus in. So I'm going to tap on that. All right, and now since I'm connected, what I'm going to do is go ahead and play this show, Stranger Things. Let me go ahead and press on play. Give this a second to buffer, as you can see here. Let me focus in really fast. Give it a second here. Let it load. Okay, sweetie. And there you go. I will see you tonight. Yeah, see you later. So now, of Where course, you can put the captions on, everything, right from here. Sure you not. can. Mom, I'm making breakfast. You, you can this. raise and increase the volume. Well, directly from your phone of course the volume audio everything will come out of the tv everything is synced perfectly and then from your phone you can pause you can rewind you can fast forward and this is another great thing about casting too okay now with casting you're able to do this as well let me go ahead and play this in the background right now raise up the volume a little bit now this is casting the background now check this out while it's casting you can also do this you can go ahead and you can go ahead and start doing something else on your computer. You can open up different applications. You can make phone calls now. You can send text messages all while this is playing in the background. You can even do this. You can even go ahead and turn off your screen. And it's still going to be playing in the background, which is awesome about casting, okay? So let me go back in here. Now let me go ahead and just pause this right now, Netflix. Let's pause this. And let's do something else. Why don't we go to YouTube now, okay? So let me go ahead and look for my YouTube app here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and the same thing up here too, okay? You basically have a casting icon right here. So let me just tap on that and let me go to the Chromecast 6786 is right here. And then let's go ahead and play a video here. Give this a second to connect here. And then I'll go ahead and press on play. And now it's the same thing because I'm casting now, I'm basically able to make a phone call now while everything while this is playing in the background, I can increase, decrease the volume. I can go ahead and turn my screen off my phone and it's still going to play in the, play in the background, which is very cool. And with uh, using Chromecast, there's thousands of apps that you can use. You can even use like uh, music apps like Pandora, Spotify stuff like that. There's, so, there's even some games that you can play where you're able to cast. But I'm also going to be screen mirroring too and I'll show you the difference between screen, screen mirroring and casting, okay? So let's do this now. Let's say I wanted to look at some photos or videos that's on my phone locally, okay? Now the thing is, 
I'm not going to be able to cast in order for me to basically relay my photos and videos to my big screen TV I have to screen mirror now so let's go ahead and screen mirror now so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna open up my Google cast app right here and then from here I'm gonna press on these three lines up here top left hand corner let me focus in on here for a second three lines right here and then I'm gonna tap on right here where it says cast screen slash audio so I'm gonna tap on that and now it says cast to my Chromecast 6786. I'm going to tap on that, give that a second, and there you go. Okay, so now I am screen mirroring. Everything that's on my phone is on my, on my TV. So let's do this now. Let me go ahead and look at some photos here, okay? So let's see. Here's some photos here. Let me turn this over. And you can see I have photos here of course we can zoom in just like this and this tv isn't it great this is this tv here is like i think it's like almost like 10 years old but it's uh 720p hd is the highest so it's not the greatest tv but it still does the trick okay so there you go and the chromecast you know basically what a chromecast does it kind of basically makes your non-smart tv into a smart tv you know even if you have a smart tv there's times where you still want to use Chromecast because a lot of the smart TVs, you know, it's still hard to cast things or screen mirror. You're going to have issues with the integrated devices. Even I have um, smart TVs like in, in another room, in a living room, and I still use Chromecast all throughout my house because it's just, it's, it's a lot better stability. It's just much more efficient than actually using the integrated um, smart device that's integrated into my TVs. Anyways, Here's some photos. You have you have presentations that you want to relay at work or something like that. You can do that as well. This is great if you go on vacation and then um, you know uh, you, somebody comes over to your house and you want to relay your vacation pictures and videos on a big TV so everybody can see. Like this is great great feature. Uh, okay, so let's do this now. Let's go ahead and let's play a game. So here's a game here that I cannot cast. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and then I'm going to go ahead and play a game. Now remember, there may be some lag depending on how grass, um, graphic intensive your um, your Wi-Fi is, okay? Let me lower this down. So let's see. Now this game isn't so graphic intensive. It's probably, uh, like, um, probably like mediocre. But let's go ahead and give an example. Alright. Okay. So let me go ahead and raise the volume there so you can hear it. Oops. Ads. So let me go ahead and play this game here. Now, if you can look at both of my screens, my phone and my TV, to get an idea like the lag issue. Now, my Wi-Fi isn't here; isn't too great either, because I'm so far away from my actual wireless router. But if you look closely, you will see a little bit, a tiny bit of lag. If I turn here left and turn right, you can still kind of see a little bit. So definitely if the game is really graphic intensive then you know you're going to notice lag but if it's something that's not not so graphic intensive then it's fine you can go ahead and play it on the uh, the big TV. Now I'm going to place a link below where you can buy these Chromecast. You can pretty much buy it like anywhere Best Buy or pretty much anywhere. I mean I got these off eBay cuz it's a little bit cheaper. But I'll put a links below on eBay. I'll also put a link below with um, with Chromecast too. So you can see all the available other apps that you can cast and whatnot. And if you guys have uh, any questions or anything, comment below. Hey, this is another thing too, because I'm screen mirroring right now. And remember when I was casting, if I shut my, my screen off, that it'll still play in the background. But when you're screen mirroring, everything that you do in a phone is going to relay to the TV. So if I go ahead and shut my screen off, it's going to do the same thing to my TV. All right, pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys.